so I have to solve this example using simplex method and show that it has unbounded solution so there are two parts so objective function is of maximization type constraint conditions are seen here in first constraint, constraint condition RH is negative so you have to multiply first constraint by minus sign so we will write down standard form of this LPP to see the solution we first express the given LPP in standard form so multiplying the first constraint by minus 1 gives because RH is negative so 4x1 minus 6x2 minus 5x3 minus 4x4 so this is first constraint now multiply this by minus sign so minus 4x1 plus 6x2 plus 5x3 plus 4x4 less than equal to 20 so standard form of this LPP is maximize z equal to 4x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 plus 5x4 subject to so all the three constraints are less than equal to type so we will add the slack variables s1 s2 s3 and inequality becomes equations so this is the standard form of this LPP the next step so first we will write down objective function in an equivalent form as z minus 4x1 minus x2 minus 3x3 minus 5x4 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus 0s3 equal to 0 and the simplex table is then iteration number, basic variables, coefficients, RHS solutions and ratios. So iteration number 0. So in Z row, we will write down the coefficients in equivalent form. So minus 4, minus 1, minus 3, minus 5. Basic variables are S1, S2, S3. So in S1 row, we will write down all the coefficients in first constraint. In S2, coefficient is the second constraint and in S3, coefficient is the third constraint. Now, most negative number minus 5, so corresponding column is the pivot column, so X4 enters the table. Then, we will find out ratio, so 20 by 4, pi U, then 10 by 1, 10, 20 by 2, 10. And lowest ratio is pi U, so corresponding variable S1 leaves the table. So, in iteration number 1, we will replace S1 by X4, S2, S3 as it is. Now here, pivot element is 4. So we will divide this pivot column by 4. So it is minus 1, four, 6 by 4, that is 3 by 2, and 5 by 4, 1, 1 by 4, 0, 0 and 5. Now with the help of this 1, we will make above and below elements to be 0. So here, value of z is minus 5 we will multiply x4 by 5 and we will add it with j so operation is j plus 5 x4 so minus 4 minus 5 minus 9 and minus 1 plus 5 into 3 by 2 and minus 3 plus 5 into 5 by 4 13 by 4 minus 5 plus 5 into 1 that is 0 0 plus 5 into 1 by 4 5 by 4 0 plus 5 into 0 0 0 plus 5 into 0 0 0 plus 5 into 5 that is 25 now here operation is for S2 operation is S2 minus X4 because here it is 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so S2 minus S4, so minus 3 minus of minus 1, minus 2. Then minus 2 minus 3 by 2, minus 7 by 2. Then 4 minus 5 by 4, 11 by 4. 1 minus 1, 0. Then 0 minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 4. 1 minus... 0, 1, 0 minus 0, 0, and 10 minus 5, 5. And for S3, we will multiply X4 by 2 and subtract. So operation for X3 is X3 minus 2 X1. Now see here. Now, the, now most negative number 
minus 9 corresponding variable x1 so x1 enters the table and take the ratio of solution with elements in the pivot column so 5 by minus 1 we are not writing 5 by minus 2 not writing so all ratios are negative here so see here since all the pivot column numbers are negative this one or there is no or all 